tell you a bit about my life. Now, you might think it's really silly to worry about this, but I have these huge body parts that I wish I could get rid of. It's really an inconvenience. You never know if someone loves you for you or is just attracted to your body. It's kind of messed up. I'd love to tell you a bit about how this all came to happen. When I was a little girl, I began noticing there was something different about my family. You see, all my female relatives had really big buns and melons. I got kind of worried, honestly. I asked myself if I'd look just like them. Back then, it terrified me. I was a really small kid, and I couldn't imagine having such big assets. I got especially worried after one of the lessons our teacher gave us on biology. She explained how genes worked and that certain traits were hereditary. I asked her if big body parts were also passed down from mother to daughter, and she told me that it usually was the case. I freaked out, of course, but my teacher didn't understand why I was so concerned. Whenever my friends would meet my family, they would also talk about my mom and sister's melons. My aunts were just the same. No matter what clothes they wore, it was impossible for them to hide the size. Now, as I began to grow up and reach puberty, I was relieved to notice that my assets were still small. I didn't have huge melons and buns like my female family members. I was so happy, of course, but what I didn't realize was that I was a late bloomer. That means that puberty didn't hit me at the same time as all my friends. I just thought I had reached it because I was the right age for it. When I turned 15, that was when my life began to change. During the summer before classes started, I began to notice my butt and my melons began to grow and grow and grow. It was really so rapid that I thought there must have been something wrong with me. So I talked to my mom, but she laughed and told me that was the way it had happened to her as well. I shouldn't worry about it. But I did worry, and so much. I didn't want to look like her, but I couldn't exactly tell her that, could I? It would hurt her feelings, and my mom is a really nice woman. It would be unfair for me to say something so mean. When I went back to school, everyone noticed how much I had changed. My body parts had actually doubled their size in a few weeks' time. My classmates noticed at once, and they all stared at me. I could hear other students talking about me when I walked by them. Now, what really bothered me was that before the growth, none of the boys talked to me. It was sad. After I began to develop, all of them wanted to pay all kinds of attention to me. They flirted and brought me little gifts here and there. Well, I'm not going to deny I kind of liked the attention. It was nice to have boys trying to get me to notice them, but that didn't mean I wanted them to just like me because I had a big butt or chest. It didn't take too long before my buns and my melons were as big as my mom's. And believe me, hers are massive. I was so shocked because the change had begun only a few months prior. And now? Now I looked like a completely different person. It was really an insane and quick transformation. My mom, who hadn't been worried before, suddenly did seem concerned. After all, puberty hitting me a bit fast was normal. But now? Now it seemed to be getting way out of hand. It was as if my hormones all woke up at the same time and began working as fast as they could to make up for the lost time. Mom and Dad decided to take me to the doctor to make sure that I was okay. They figured maybe they'd be told it was normal, and then they'd relax, but they couldn't just sit and wait. Just in case it was something that would require I undergo treatment, they decided it was best to be cautious about it. We went to the doctor, and my mom told him about how my body parts had grown so fast. He didn't seem much concerned at first, thinking that maybe we were just overreacting. Then Dad told him it had happened in a span of just four months. Now that really caught the doctor's attention. He seemed shocked and told us that it was definitely not something common. I got so concerned. After all, if I kept growing that way, I wouldn't be able to even walk after a few more months. I used to be concerned I'd look just like my mom and my sister, but now I only hoped I would stay the same. I was terrified that my lady parts would never ever stop growing. It was really scary. Try to put yourself in my shoes. You might like big body parts, but everything has a limit. I wanted to be able to stand up on my own and walk around without falling over. I also knew that big body parts can give terrible back pain, and I didn't want anything like that to happen. My mom explained that these big assets did run in the family, but these have never grown so fast before. 
the doctor wasn't too sure what was happening, so he decided to run some tests to handle the situation the best way possible. We had to wait a few weeks after I underwent so many different medical examinations. They drew blood, had several ultrasounds done on my butt and chest, and even was examined by other doctors. By the time that the results were in, I was a nervous wreck. My mom hugged me tightly and told me everything would be alright, and dad assured me that they'd always be there for me. I really had the best parents in the world. We finally went back to the doctor's office, and he had news for us. Apparently, my body was releasing a whole lot of the chemical that is responsible for the growth of these body parts. It was as if it was an overdrive, and it kept on pumping lots of hormones into my bloodstream. This made my lady parts grow bigger and bigger in the past few months. My mom asked if there was anything we could do about it, and the doctors replied that we just had to wait. Dad inquired about treatments and surgery, but the doctor explained that no matter what we did, the chemicals would go back to being released soon after. He preferred not making me go through painful treatments only for the problem to return after a few weeks. I was so upset. The doctor tried to calm me down and explain that it would eventually come to a stop. Sure, I would be even bigger than my mom, sister, and aunts, but it wasn't as if I'd just keep growing until I was unable to move. That wasn't the way the human body worked, he assured me. I wasn't too sure if I believed him, but what else could I do? I was super upset when my mom and dad drove me back home. They tried to soothe my nerves, but nothing worked. So the weeks kept slipping by and my body parts continued to grow. I cried every single night and didn't know when on earth it was going to stop, if it ever did at all. A few months later, though, something changed. I noticed that for days on end, my lady parts didn't seem bigger at all. My mom was happy and decided to take me back to the doctor. After running some tests, he confirmed that the chemicals that had been so high before now were perfectly normal. He was right after all. My body had finally gone back to normal. Well, not entirely. My body parts were still huge, but at least that was as big as they'd get. At the age of 16, merely a year after entering puberty, I was done growing. I was a fully mature woman, and then some. You might be asking yourself, what's the downfall of this so-called problem? I have big assets, and guys drool whenever I walk into a room. I get asked out almost every single time I go outside, and I get all kinds of lovely gifts, especially now that I'm out of high school and I'm studying in college. Even the teachers give me these long looks like they can't believe what they are seeing. I have grown to ignore those looks, but it can get a bit annoying from time to time. Sure, there are good sides to my gift, but don't think for a moment there aren't problems attached to it as well. For one thing, imagine never ever finding clothes that fit you in regular stores. Getting jeans that actually fit me is nearly impossible. I have to go to special shops and seamstresses to get my clothes done. It's really annoying and really expensive. I'm lucky my family is wealthy because I don't know how I'd get dressed every day without spending lots of money every month or so. You can't imagine how many dresses and jeans I had to throw away between my 15th and 16th birthday. It was such a waste, and I was really sad that I didn't fit in all my favorite outfits. Also, sleeping is really hard. I love, love, love sleeping. Who doesn't? But ever since my lady parts began to grow, everything changed. I can't sleep on my chest any longer because my melons are all squished if I try to. And sleeping on my back is hard too because of their weight. It's a lose-lose situation. So I sleep on my side and have to put a pillow beneath them to feel comfortable. If I ever need to turn around, I always wake up and it's really annoying. I never ever get to just relax without a bra because my chest is just too big and I can end up hurting myself. So the only time I can disrobe completely is when I take baths and I can't stay that way for long. If you like to relax in the shower, then you know exactly why that is really annoying to me. And worse still, whenever I go to class, everyone stares at me. And I do mean everyone. Some women really hate my guts, and I've heard people talking about how I for sure had my chest done. That's not true at all. Do you know how upsetting it is to always wonder if a guy really likes you or just wants to be with you because of your body type? I want someone to love me, not just think I'm hot or something like that. 
I also hate hearing guys speaking about how much they want to hook up with me and see my melons. It's really degrading, and I wish they would stop doing it already. So being blessed with these massive body parts can be a big problem as well. Mom and Dad always tell me that I need to learn to cherish what I was given and make the best of my situation. It's not always easy, but I keep trying. So that's my story. I did try to get them reduced, in case you are wondering. The problem is that the doctor thinks that the chemical will go back into overdrive and my assets will just grow back to the same size they currently are, if not even bigger. I'd rather not risk going through surgery only to have my buns and melons go back to normal in a few months' time. Thanks for watching. Is there something you'd really like to change about the way you look? Let us know in the comments.